much for joining me today and welcome to my crafty channel. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to join me here on my channel. So today I have a wonderful, fun, crafty haul from Queen of Craft. And um, this is a little card that they send you. Okay, and it has all of their information, you know, contact information, subscribe to their YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and all of that good stuff. It also, they also sends you a super cute little book, uh, like a little writing book. I think that is so super cute. I love that. So thank you so much. So today, y'all, I have some really super crafty goodies and can't wait to share with you. So we're going to make a little uh, album out of the paper that I got. And this is the 6x6 Sweet Dream patterned paper. And look at this. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? Look at the back of that, you guys. It is so awesome. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out and we're going to take a look at this. All right, so here it is out of the package, you guys. So this is a 12, you get 12 designs and you get two sheets of each design. And so there's 24 pieces in this package, okay? And it is one-sided. So let's go ahead and take a look. So there is the front. And then look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love that. Like It's like a watercolor, um, kind of distressed look on that so so pretty and then this one has little flowers on it such a pretty design you guys and then this one is little green flowers with some uh, little script writing in the background this one is super cute it has blue lines with some little uh, flowers going through it so pretty on the background so pretty and then this one is really pretty too. Love that one. Really nice design. Here is a little floral with like a little coral and green. A little bit of yellow in there. Oh my gosh, so pretty you guys. Love this one too. Lots of pink and blues and yellows and things uh, definitely up our spring springy theme here <laughs> so <laughs> so pretty you guys oh my gosh i absolutely love this and then this one oh my gosh look at that so pretty so gorgeous this one is a wooden plank with some blue flowers in the corner there green distressed look so pretty this one is a little journal page Perfect for a journal, right? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love that. And then these are just some little cut apart cards, and you get two sheets of those. Oh, you get two. Yep, yeah, there it is. Two sheets of those. So pretty, right? Oh my gosh. So that is the pattern paper. To go with this pretty pattern paper, I went and picked out some of these little mermaid gems. These are called um, these are gem stickers and they're Tears Mermaid. Okay, so they're, they're Tear Mermaid it's gem stickers. They are so pretty. I couldn't help it. I had to get them. And they go perfect with this set. Then to top it off, I also got some of this beautiful trim here. And this trim is like, it's so pretty, you guys. Um, it is like a thread trim. Okay, I'll have all the links down below for you so you can check them out. Check out everything that I'm using for our little projects here. Okay, and this is, it's so pretty. I had, I looked through some of their stuff and I just love this string. It's like a th um, thread. So, so pretty. And um, so I had to have it. <laughs> so <laughs> I went ahead and got that. Okay, so there's that. Again, this is a scrapbook. Um, it's called Scrapbook Decoration Mixed Thread. It is number C2, okay? C2 on their website. So, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that back in there. 
Okay, the next thing I got, which um, I thought these would be perfect for like Father's Day cards. Um, and so these are retro message note cards. And I absolutely thought these were super awesome. And I'm gonna show you a couple of them. You get a couple, like four of each thing, each design. So here is one design, okay? And these are really cool for like just putting on packages or on a card. I thought that these were really super cool. And there's that one with the lighthouse. This one. There's this one with the ship. I love this one. That's This is one of the ones that was showing and I, I had to get it because of this and the lighthouse. There's a couple of other designs in here. I liked the, the little world, the map with the lighthouse and the wheel. These are some of my favorite ones that I, and that's why I got this set because I just absolutely had to have it. It was so cool. And this one has the guy with his raincoat on. So cool. And then this one reminded me of like a little postage um, stamp, kind of like a postcard. That's so cool. And then the world. I like that. I like that one. So that's why I got these because I thought that these would be super cool on like some Father's Day cards or, um, you know, even if you're journaling, you know, journal, uh, you know, that would be really cool. So um, if you're taking a vacation, how cool will that be on there? So, yeah, so I got those. Um, the next thing I got, I'm going to show you the flowers first. So I got these flowers. Now, on the description, it says five, it says ten pieces, but I got ten in, uh, I got five in my, in my, um, little, um, thing here. So I got to go back over and kind of take a look at these. Now I did, I liked these ones because I love the middle part of these. They're like a, a really soft kind of thread or something in there. I don't know, but it's super soft and it just looks so pretty, you guys. Absolutely love these little flowers. These are super cute. And these are the flowers white. Okay, 10 pieces. Okay. So, and then I got the light blue color as well. And this is to go with our little book here. Okay. So I'll be using these on there. Look at how pretty those are. Absolutely love that center. It's so pretty. So, again, these are the light blue flowers. And I'll have the links down below for you if you're interested. And then down, then this one. Okay, so for the dies, oh my gosh, you guys, I absolutely love this die. Now, I ordered the A and B, but um, I guess they ran out of the A part, so I got the B part, which is still really pretty. So I love this little uh, flower. It's a rose die, uh, flower die with some leaves, and it's so pretty. So I cannot wait to use that. So that is so pretty. And then I got this little box die, you guys. Oh my gosh, I couldn't help it. I had to, I had to get this because, um, you know, it's perfect for little treat bags or you know little items that you can you send to somebody, happy mail, um, or you know, just put in some little candies inside, right? For a wedding, birthday party, anything. I absolutely love this die, it's so cute, and it's pretty big, so it's just about as big as my hand. So of course, once we fold it up and everything, you know, it'll be a little smaller, but it's still super cute, and so I can't wait to use that. So I am looking forward to using that little die, and so yeah, so that is it. So I cannot wait to share this with you guys. Um, so let's go ahead, and we're gonna get started with our first project. All right, y'all, we're going to get started on our first project using the Queen of Craft little butterfly box. And this is the butterfly box die. And this is so cute. You guys, it's so tiny. I am super excited about using this. So the I went ahead and pulled out uh, one of the six by six sheets that I got from their store. 
And again, to refresh your all's memory, it is the, um, let me find the cover page here. Um, it is the Sweet Dreams Collection. It is a one-sided paper. It is six by six and it's a pattern paper and it is so pretty. I love the pretty blues and greens throughout this paper and it's so springy, right? Oh my gosh, so pretty, you guys. Check it out. Oh my gosh, so I went over this just a bit ago. Um, so now I'm going to use this to cut out the little um, box and the box does fit on a six by six piece perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out real quick. Okay, you guys, so it's all cut out and look it, um, it just comes out super easy, you guys. And look, we don't have a whole lot of wasted paper on that. We could definitely use some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and poke these out real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and cut two little boxes out instead of just one. <laughs> so, so when you cut it out, you will uh, go ahead and um, poke out all of the little um, things here in the little areas, okay? And then, and I'm gonna just come in just a bit. There we go. Um, and then I went ahead and fluffed up my little butterflies here. Okay, yeah. so if you want to cover this piece right here where the butterfly is and you're going to put like some little treats like chocolates or, you know, jelly beans or I don't know, <laughs> something <laughs> and it's going to fall out, right? So what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and you're going to fold this back, okay, onto itself. So now you have something like this. Then you're going to go ahead and fold this piece, this little tab back. Okay, right on that little mark there. Okay, just like that. So now you are have something like this and you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna lay this on top of your little square piece. Okay, I'm lining up the little bottom part um, that is uh, perforated. See how it's perforated right there? I'm gonna line that up with the bottom of the little card here and then I'm just going to trace around that and then I'll cut that and then that will fit perfectly inside of that little area where that butterfly is okay now when you cut this you can definitely um, cut uh, inside the line and I'm going to show you what I mean in just a minute that way you don't have an edge on that. Okay, see how you have this piece? Okay. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna actually cut on the inside of that line. So instead of on that line itself, I'm cutting on the outer edge of that line, or not the outer edge, but the inner edge of that line. So I'm cutting actually right on the inside see of that line there okay just like that and then same thing in here I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that like that and then cut that right on the inside of that line that way when you place this inside you know it it has uh, it's it's not going to um, deter you from folding it in okay so when you cut inside of that line that way you can glue that down and now you have a really pretty back on that so how pretty is that right and so if you wanted to you could definitely go ahead and cut out a piece for each individual little panel here okay of your box so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then um, I'll be right back. Basically. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and fold in our little flaps here and they're already perforated for you so you're just gonna go ahead and fold all of them in just like this and you can apply your tape on here. So if you are using tape or glue, um, you know, the glue will just wait for just one second 
and I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick one of my little shapes here that we cut out and I'm just going to glue that right on top of here just like this and I'm just going to go through make sure that it fits on there I'm just going to leave like a little border up on top see how I'm just barely leaving like a little tiny border right there just like that okay and I'm going to do that on all of them so. and so I'm going to go ahead and add some glue right around the edges here okay And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to stick this down on here, just like that. And I'm going to bring this over, just like that, and leave a little bit of an edge showing, just like that, okay? So this is where you can use some of your paper scraps, like if you have, um, like other scraps that you want to use, not just foil paper or, you know, um, any type of cardstock. If you want to use a backing on that, you can. Okay, so now I have this little piece here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my other little piece, and I'm just going to go ahead and place some glue right along the edges here. Alright, so now I can go ahead and lay that down. And just need my little towel here for the glue. Okay, so now you have these little guys, okay? So we can go ahead and we can glue these on. So you're just going to place glue on your little tabs. Okay, you put glue there and some glue here on that tab and you're just going to go ahead and fold those in inward like this okay make sure that it's sitting right on that perforated edge that bottom part is right on that perforated edge okay and you can pretty much see the little like deep 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 <laughs> perforation there <laughs> And then here you're going to go ahead and we're going to bring that in there on that side. And that is going to butt up right against that corner piece. and now I'm just making sure that everything is burnished down okay and there's our little box you guys oh my gosh this is so stinking cute and then if you wanted to you could definitely um, go ahead and place some things inside there okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a little handle for this little box and what you're gonna use is your scraps that you used to cut out your box so when you cut out your box you're left with some little scraps like this okay and you should have about an inch or maybe a half inch uh, left uh, from your scraps okay so like this this is probably a half inch um, so okay, so this is my little strip and I believe it's about three quarters of an inch uh, yeah so it's about three quarters of an inch okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on the inside here just like that okay so you're gonna have a little handle that looks just like this all right so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to um, go ahead and grab a couple of brads okay, okay so I went ahead and found two brads 
that look just like this, okay? And they are uh, a little bit of a pink tint, and I'm not sure if they show up on the camera, but they're like a really super light pink. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna bend this over and I'm going to raise it just a bit, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I am gonna go ahead and glue, put some glue like about, mm, right, about quarter inch up maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that right where, see where the butterfly body is? I'm just gonna grab my finger and kinda um, know where I need to place that right there in the edge of that. Okay, just like that. And if you guys hear crying, it is my little dog, um, Daisy and Lily. They both had surgery, um, oh my gosh. So Daisy had a little um, abscess on her back, and so we had to take her in and have that removed. And then Lily just needed to get fixed. So, <laughs> so no, so no puppies for Lily, but <laughs> yeah. So she's I figured we would just get both of them done at the same time. You know, kill two birds with one stone. That way, it's it's all over with and for everybody. <laughs> so, uh, so, okay. So there's that, and I'm just gluing that other piece down there, and I'm making sure that's burnished in. Okay. And the reason now here you can like I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there. Okay. You can add your beads or your flat back pearls if you wanted to do that. You could just add them along here if you wanted. Um, whatever you want to do. But I just thought this would be so cute. So I'm going to grab my hole punch. Okay. And I'm going to slide it in. Hopefully I can slide that in. We will see. If I can't slide it in, then um, we will just grab our little pokey tool here, okay? And I'm just going to grab this little pokey tool, and I'm just going to hold this with one hand, and then I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole right in the middle, okay? And make sure your fingers are out of the way. You don't want to poke a hole in your finger. And there we go. So there's that. And I'm just going to put that right in the center of that. Isn't that so cute, you guys? Oh my gosh. So cute. So, and then just put your blur brad in there and fix it to where the inside are down. Just like that. Right? How cute is that? And then same thing here on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead. And we're going to poke a hole in the middle. There we go. Just like that. How cute is that? Now, if you wanted to, you could definitely, you know, curve your wings inside if you wanted to do that. Just fold them over a little bit. So there is our little box, you guys. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? So how cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so and we're gonna be, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of stuffing in there. And for my daughter, um, she is a cat mom. And, you know, all moms, I think, <laughs> you know, I know traditionally, you know, it's for moms of baby, you know, human babies, you know, but, you know, we all have fur babies and stuff and we're their mommies. And so um, I went ahead and got her some little um, 
trinkets. Her middle name is Faith. And um, so I went and had and got her a middle her middle name uh, in uh, side of a little um, circle trinket here charm. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there. And then I got her a little cat with a a cat paw and I just thought that was so cute so I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in there just like that and um, and then I went ahead and got her a little necklace to put them on and I just thought that was so pretty and um, so I am gonna go ahead and give this to her but I think it's not gonna fit in our little box here or a little a basket here but I think that this is so cute right thank you I and hope that you guys found it inspirational and I hope you all go check out Queen of Craft they have some wonderful deals going on right now and uh, yeah so check them out I will have all of the links down below to all of the videos that I'll be sharing with you so thanks so much for joining me you guys I'll talk to you soon bye